Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel for baking and that the last tutorial I showed you what to do was the ch chocolate berry cake and this recipe for today I'm going to be showing you how to make a ca carrot cake this is a carrot cake where it usually contains the grated carrots in so, first thing that we have to do in a large bowl, you have to have the, the sugars, which is 200 grams, and also the baking powder, which is a teaspoon. That's a teaspoon of baking powder. And a teaspoon of salt. You also have two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And as well as that, add half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And to final to this is to add three hundred and fifteen grams of all purpose flour. And before I stick this in, I'll go add some a cup of granulated sugar which is two hundred grams. And sift this through with your sieve until it's all in a large bowl, mixing bowl. It will be sifted until there is no lumps of either bowl. What you have to do is swish them all together. These are dry ingredients so it will be better if it was used with a hand whisk. Once you've got it all mixed in, once then you add then you add to add the canola oil or some other oils or vegetable oil, and it is two hundred thirty-five milliliters, as well as the melted butter which is 
One drew out the oil and butter, give it a whisk through until it is combining everything nicely. Once you set all of these nicely, now you have to add the eggs one at a time and stirring well out of each addition. Once you added the last egg, egg in there, then you can add the vanilla extract to stir in. Stir the vanilla extract and once you're done there are the final two ingredients that will be stirred. Finally, we're going to add some grated carrots and to that I'm going to add some pecan nuts or some walnuts, either nut, that's 125 grams. Stirring the grated carrots and the nuts you have and make it look like a carrot cake, cake mixture. I have chopped up these nuts so they're not so big. Now I've got two tins. Now to, with this, you can divide it equally to two tins.
Yeah, I got the bags are divided equally into two tins. Now you're going to bake these cakes in the oven for 40 minutes until the peak is inserted in the centre and it comes out clean. So pause the video now until it is baked and done in the oven. Now that the cakes have been completely cooled, now it's time to make for the cheese frosting that goes to sandwich the cakes out around the outside. You will need some 113 grams of, of butter and that is a cup. And to that I've got some 226 grams of cream cheese softened and it's brick style so give this a whiz and it is well combined and lump fry After whisking the cheese and the butter, add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and sprinkle a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of salt. And then stir well to combine. Well, at our hour's speed, I've got 500 grams of powdered sugar or rising salt sugar, whatever you prefer to use. So, at our hour's speed, use a mixer to mix it like a frosting. <laughs> Once the cake has been cooled completely, now you have to cover it up with some icing, this frosting mixture.
Now these are the cakes that have been cooled completely. So spread it along with the cakes that have been cooled completely. Once you have topped it with the frosting, you're just going to carefully place the second layer of cake on top. And then place the rest of the frosting that should go on top. This is a carrot cake that is complete and has done. So if you like this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what you think other recipes will be next. So bye.